On one side is decline of materialism, on the other side is ever, everlasting rise of spiritualism. On one side, my dear brothers and sisters, is ignorance of philosophy. On the other side, is the greatness of prophecy. On one side, my dear brothers and sisters, is confused and muddled up cases. On the other side, is plain and simple matters. On one side, is Kant, Goethe, Newton, and Freud's ideology. On the other side is Isa and Musa and Mustafa's theology. On one side is Kant and Machiavelli. On the other side is Hassan, Hussein and Ali. Who are you going to follow? We follow the ones who have knowledge. We follow the ones who have truth. We follow the ones who have Haq and Yaqeen. And that is why our Prophet وسلم, when he described himself, he didn't say that I am the city of generosity. He didn't say that I am the city of bravery. He didn't say that I am the city of goodness. He says that Ana Madinatul Ilme wa Aliyun Babuha. He says that I am the city of knowledge and Ali is the gate of it. And finally, let me tell you something, my dear brothers and sisters. All prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got knowledge. Special knowledge. Hazrat Adam alayhi salam got Allah ma'adam al asma'a kullaha. Adam alayhi salam got the knowledge of the names of things. Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salam got the knowledge of interpretation of dreams. Hazrat Sulaiman alayhi salam got the knowledge of the language of the birds. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam got the knowledge of argumentation. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam got the knowledge of breaking any kind of magic. Hazrat Khizr alayhi salam got the knowledge, Gnostical knowledge. Hazrat Isa alayhi salam got the knowledge of the medicine. Hazrat Shuhayb alayhi salam got the knowledge of oration. But wait a minute. Our Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, the Quran says, Wa allamaka ma lam takum ta'lam, wa kana fadlullahi alayka azima. Oh, my beloved Prophet, I taught you everything that you did not know. And great is the grace of Allah upon you. So our Prophet alayhi salam got the total and absolute knowledge. The curtains of the unseen were unveiled for him. Let's analyze it quickly. This ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَلَّمَكَ مَا لَمْ تَكُنْ تَعْلَمْ Allah has taught you everything that you did not know. Allamaka. Allah has taught you. Ma. Ma in, in the principles of, according to the principles of jurisprudence. Two words, man and ma. Ma'nun lil umum. They're both for generality. They're not for particular little bit of things. They're for generality. Ma. Whatever you did not know. So who is the teacher? The teacher is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The student is Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The subject is ma'alam takun ta'alam. Whatever you did not know. In every institution, my dear brothers and sisters, these three things are important. The teacher, the student, and the subject matter. The teacher here is Rabbul Alameen. The student is Rahmatan lil alameen. The subject is whatever he did not know. So do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left anything? He taught Rasulullah everything. And our Prophet got the knowledge of the unseen and the total and absolute knowledge. And let's not confuse this. Allah is the creator. Muhammad Mustafa alayhi salatu wasalam is the creation. So there's this obvious difference between the knowledge of the two. But out of the creation, Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got the ultimate and total knowledge. And that's why we follow the prophets of Allah. We follow Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because why? Because they have knowledge. They have ilm. They have the truth. And we don't follow philosophers and scientists because all they've got is guesswork estimations, assumptions.